Okay, guys, so I was recently just looking up some news for the Raspberry Pi, and I actually found out there's a, a cool, really interesting things that have happened that you can do on your Raspberry Pi OS. So in today's video, that's what we're going to be talking about. So first of all, one of the most important ones is that Raspberry Pi OS added the Microsoft repos inside a Raspberry Pi OS. So what that means is, now you're able to install VS Code on your Raspberry Pi with a apt. But some people aren't happy about that due to Microsoft having access to all of your system. So it is kind of not that great of a situation, but it's helpful for some and not helpful for some people. So it would be kind of better if they would have asked before doing it or making it optional or something like that. But it's not the worst thing, and if you really don't want it, you can just re remove it from your system if you really want to. But it's not going to bother me too much, so I'm just going to be leaving that. But to get it in your system, you just have to upgrade your system. So, sudo apt update, and you see right here, I already have it because it says Microsoft.com. So, Microsoft's repos are in my Raspberry Pi OS system right now, and everything's already up to date. So if I wanted to install that, all I type would be sudo apt install code. You don't say VS code, it's just called code. You hit enter, and yeah, it goes right ahead and gets VS code for you on your Raspberry Pi OS system. Alrighty, here I have VS code successfully installed on my Raspberry Pi using apt. So you actually don't have to use the version of Pi Apps anymore. So that's actually, I mean, it's okay. And we go over here to programming, we should see VS Code. So now it's that easy to install on your Raspberry Pi. But like I did say again, now Microsoft has access to all of your system. So for some people, that could be a thing that they do not enjoy, which I can understand totally. So it's up to you if you want to use it or if you don't want to use it. But I think I'm just going to stick with it for now. So next to talk about the new apps in Pi Apps. So recently I was taking a look and Pi Apps actually added Wine with Box86. So before I had made a video on how to install Wine with Box86, it actually got a lot of views. And now the way to do it is so much easier. You can do it with one button. So I'll be showing you how to do that in this video. Plus, now we also have a new version of Minecraft Pi. So if you know what that is, that is a version of Minecraft that was adapted for the Raspberry Pi, but then it was kind of left and nobody really took care of it and nobody just did anything. But these devs over on this Minecraft Pi Discord server have taken it into their own hands and they modded it and made it run really well and done some optimizations to it. So we'll be installing that too in this video and just taking a look at it. So if you already have Pi apps installed like me, if we go over to accessories, and you want to make sure that it's updated, you can just scroll down right here. How it works. Wait, no, terminal usage. To update all apps, you're just going to take this and we're going to copy that to make sure that all the new apps in Pi Apps will show up on our system. So we just open up terminal right here. We paste it in there. Hit enter. And now this is going to check and make sure that everything in our system in our Pi Apps is all updated. You see it's going through everything and checking it. So that's about it for Pi Apps, the website. So, okay, everything is done. So now let's launch Pi Apps and see how it goes. Accessories, Pi Apps. So first, let's go over and try out Wine and then we'll try out Minecraft Pi Modded. So we go over to Tools, wait for it. And we scroll down, and right here we have Wine x86. So this is using Box86. It's the same version that's going to be in Twister OS. So it's going to perform really well. So we click on that plus button right there. And you see right here, it's first getting Box86 for us. And then it should do the rest of the work with installing Wine. And this actually works on the Raspberry Pi 3. So in my last video, I was reading a lot of you had commented that it wasn't working on the Raspberry Pi 3. That's because you have to do some kind of memory splitting for it. But this script actually is optimized to do it for that for you. So don't worry, Raspberry Pi 3 users. This will work for you too. So it's a really cool thing, honestly. 
So here I am, and you see it's actually booted up Wine, and it's asking for us to install Mono, and then it will ask us to install Gecko. So you do want all of these things, just hit install when every one of these comes up. After that, Wine should be successfully installed on your system. I got Wine installed on my system, and now I have Box86. So actually, if you want both of them, you just install Wine and that will get Box86 at the same time for you. So you don't need to install them separately. But if you didn't want Wine, you could just install Box86 if you like. You see Box86 is here, and then we have Wine too. So it's pretty cool that it's that easy to install Wine with Pi apps. And you used to have to type in all these commands, and it would just take a long time. Now it's super easy, super fast. Good job, BotSpot. So now, what I really was waiting for was to take a look at the Minecraft Pi modded. So that would be in games. So you see, now we actually have three versions of Minecraft. It's pretty cool. But we're going to be going with the Minecraft Pi modded version. We're going to click on that plus sign. And we're gonna, it's going to start installing Minecraft Pi modded with the install script on our Raspberry Pi. Here it is, Minecraft Pi modded is successfully installed on my system. So let's close up this window and let's test it out. So I'm going to wait for the Pi Apps window to pop back up so I can close it. Honestly, this is my first testing time testing that too, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited. So I'm going over here to Games and Minecraft Pi. I'm going to click that one. It needs to run something, so you're going to type in your password, your system password. If you haven't changed it, it would be Raspberry Pi, because that's the default password on Raspberry Pi OS. So right here we have a Mac Minecraft Pi launcher, so it looks like they've coded it. So there's classic Minecraft Pi, or modded Pi, or... Oh, okay, but I'm going to go with the modded version, because that's the one that they've been working on, so I want to see what it is. Type in your password once more, hit enter, and let's see what this thing does. Okay, so, I mean, so far it's looking like the normal thing. Let's hit start game, create new. Oh, so before you didn't have creative and survival mode. Wow, this thing actually looks really cool. I'm going to make this bigger, right here. Let's go for some survival mode right now. And let's see what we can do. I'm leaving this on real time so you can see what the performance is and how fast everything loads up. Okay, I'm giving you a second to just load up. So, let's actually make that a little smaller for some better performance. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Full screen is a bit much for this. It's like so much slower. But this one like this, it, this this is super playable. It's honestly, it feels so quick and so responsive. This is, on. it's better than Minecraft Java on the Raspberry Pi. Because Minecraft Java, it kind of loads a lot. And when you try to turn around fast, it all there's all this screen tearing. And, no, I mean, I'm not saying it's not playable. But it's just a bit more, not as fun, honestly. But this modded version, seriously, it's looking cool. I'm super impressed. And yeah, I mean, I am in survival mode right now. Like, And let's just move up here, go up these things, and let's just see what we can do. And the performance, honestly. I mean, you see I'm jumping, I'm doing all this stuff, and it doesn't look like it's screen tearing a crazy amount. Could you get better performance on a better device? Of course. But this is a Raspberry Pi, and we have to keep that in mind. But because it is a Raspberry Pi, it's awesome. I mean, look at this. We're going down here. It is survival mode because I just lost lives. And the normal version of Raspberry Pi Minecraft, there's no survival mode, I'm, I'm almost certain. I haven't played it that much. But I can't remember that much that there isn't anything like survival mode on it. So having this survival mode on here is really cool and that you don't need any Minecraft account. That's another big plus. Some people can't use a Minecraft Java on their Raspberry Pi right now 
because Microsoft moved all the Microsoft accounts to Minecraft accounts, but the launcher doesn't support Microsoft accounts yet. So that's a bit of our problem. Well, if you have that problem, just go right over here and install Minecraft Modded Pi Edition, and you'll be jamming. You'll love it. It's super great performance. It's fun. It's awesome. So yeah. I honestly am super impressed with the devs, what they pulled off with this project, how it's in Pi Apps, and I'm super happy to see Wine in Pi Apps. It's just some cool little updates for your Raspberry Pi if you're a Raspberry Pi user. So if these updates are helpful for you guys, please tell me down below in the comments. Any questions about this, let me know. And yeah, so please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.